the email provider now this could be any email as long as the email provider gives us access to smtp services so smtp services basically help you to use um email address remotely from your own application you know something like that now for this it could be done in any of these two ways either in this pattern which is more like a url or it could also take this form yeah this other form um, where you are required to have your email server host your email server port email server user email server password and email from so the only thing that is um, a little tricky here is the password so we'll begin with that after which i'll show you um, what is the value for all these other ones i'll be showing everything in a bit so i'll be demonstrating it here too um, you need to be logged into your gmail account so like i told you this is just for demonstration purposes i don't have any emails here so um, i could be exposing the passwords to you it doesn't really matter now for you to get the password that you'll be using you need to come here click on um click on your profile picture here if you have a picture or maybe the letter click on manage your google account click on it it takes you to um, another page then on this page click on security click on security and then if you already have your two fa or your two-factor authentication verification set up you should have it up here or anywhere here in the list but up here usually but if you do not have your two fa set up please you need to set it up for you to be able to use this service so once you have it set up already click on it it will now open the page where um all, all your passwords are so for this i'll just log in um, it's it's required that you put in your password because you know for security purposes so that somebody else don't access it it's very tricky so you hit next and then um, that should redirect us to our 2fa page now scroll down and you see app passwords click on app password uh, let me get this to the side here all right click on app password now you notice that i already have two um passwords created you could choose to delete them or whatever but i'll just create a another one let me make sure you're seeing what i'm doing so come down here click on select app pick mail then here click on um choose whatever you're using i'm using a mac so i click mac if you're on windows you pick windows you no know, whatever suits your need after this create the generate button and it generates the password for you beautiful it's it's a 16 character string which is divided into four places however when using the string there will be no spaces in between so it will be a one string wherever you are putting it so with this we now have everything that we need to create um authentication using email now back here the host would be smtp.gmail.com um the email port should be 4462 four, i'll show you all of this in a bit while the email server sorry the email server user is your email your own email address the email address that um the, the email account where you created um the password from then this password is a string containing that password string we just created where is that yeah this string with no spaces between and finally this email from is anything you choose to call it so sometimes you see certain email come and you see something like no reply at gmail.com yeah so something like that so your email from would be anything you choose it could be an email that's not existing anywhere but it's just more like where the email is coming from something like that all right